Sometimes what's old becomes new again. It happens in music, fashion, even eye care. Optometrists at Mayo Clinic are using a type of lens developed back in the late 1800s for some people who can't wear normal contacts. They're called scleral lenses, and they're helping many folks with bad vision see. So it's like putting a saucer in your eyes. These large lenses that help Suzanne Koretsky see are new, but the design has been around for more than a century. Scleral contacts were actually the first contact lenses developed. Dr. Uh, Muriel Shornak says scleral contacts, which rest on the sclera or whites of your eyes instead of the cornea, date back to the 1880s. Then they were made of blown glass, hard to manufacture, easy to break, and very hard on people's eyes. So they got considerable corneal swelling and not very good comfort after as little as 30 minutes of wear. The design was basically abandoned when more breathable, gas permeable materials allowed for the manufacture of smaller, more comfortable lenses, like the ones people wear today. But there's renewed interest in an updated version of scleral contacts for people like Suzanne. Now I can see far. I wear sclera in both eyes and then I have the glasses for near. You see, Suzanne has very right poor vision see. from severely dry eyes and abrasions on the surface of her eyes. These two conditions make it impossible for her to see well with glasses or regular contacts. Scleral contacts help because they allow space for a protective layer of saline between the eye and the contact. That layer allows for better comfort and better vision. I'm a designer and um, I had to give up designing. But scleral lenses with their antique design have given Suzanne her work and sight back. 2020 vision. Dr. Shornak says scleral lenses are not for everybody. She recommends them to people who cannot wear glasses or regular contacts. Dr. Shornak also warns that some people wear painted scleral lenses for cosmetic reasons. She advises against that because doctors don't know all the risks of wearing these contacts. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.